Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. So today we have another Stormworks video, and yes, we are going to be messing around with the modular engines. Now, um, I was just building this one, and my, uh, the, inner, the, the power went out, or whatever, and then, <clears throat> uh, the, my computer turned off, obviously, because my computer needs power, um, and, um, the recording didn't actually save. Anyways, we are going to be building this V8 engine, which I've already started. I've got the cylinders, the alternator, the starter, and the cooling system already installed. Um, so now we just need the exhaust, the air, and the fuel ratio, or, sorry, air and the fuel in here, and the exhaust. Um, so, yeah, this will be exciting. <laughs> uh, here. I'm gonna go show it to you in the world of Stormworks. So, now there's actually no, like, tilted parts, I guess. Um, so you have to use the pivot, and that pivot's on a constant number, and it's doing this, which I think it might be this right here. But, um, uh, I'm just gonna actually move this back one, I think. That will fix it. Um, yeah. I uh, know it did not, but anyways, um, yeah, so, this is Stormworks, so, yeah, um, let's see, so, first off, we're going to do the air and the fuel, uh, so, first off, let's find out how far, so, we can put blocks up to there, okay, cool, um, that's kind of what I thought, so, like, right here. Nice. Uh, so let's grab a fuel. It's not how you spell it. Let's grab a fuel manifold. Slap that on right there. And a oh, air manifold. And then let's just slap that on right there. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and also grab one. Oh, that's interesting. Um, hmm. So if I grab a pipe, right? Do this and then this. Um, will this work? Is the question. Will this work? Yeah, that works. I mean, it's a lot wider than I wanted it to be, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and I think it's pretty much the least wide you can make it, so, yeah. That's still really interesting. Um, <laughs> anyways, let's add on the... Uh, the manifold the pieces, so let's grab this. And then basically copy this piece right there. Have this go out right there. And that's pretty much exhaust right there. So yeah so that's gonna be exhaust logic uh this hmm <laughs> um wow okay uh i guess just have or er, well no i can do this right i um i don't know let's see how this looks we might have to cross it because of the extra slack um Yeah, well, um, we might have to cross it, though. So we're going to do that. So this one goes to here. No, no, no. This one goes to here. This one goes to here. I think that should then make it work better. Yeah, cool. Nice. Um... 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. And also another thing is we could have XML parts. So, um, this basically goes through the XML part, but then it rotates and you don't see it anymore. So that could be a thing too that we could do um, to fix that. But, um, yeah. Cool. Uh, also, we could fill this entire thing in right here. So then that, so with the XML parts, it just basically makes it here and here. Which I think that would be pretty cool. Or no, no, sorry, sorry. Here? Well, no, um... I don't know. Okay, uh, so, yeah. We have this all pretty much done and sorted out. Uh, just stick this here. Pipe. Grab this. Grab a T-pipe piece. Uh... Turn on some tree. Put this in here. Turn direction labels or whatever. Do that. Uh, T peep pipe piece. There we go. And then have um this go out. Uh, pipe. So basically what I'm trying to accomplish here with this build is to make a compact V8 engine. Um, so, yeah. You know, this would basically just, you know, not be this. Um, but for now, it, it's what it is. So, we have that all done. Now for our fuel and our air. Um... Let's see, this one is the fuel, and this one is air. Okay, so, uh, we're going to need, um, two of those. Uh, actually, no, right here. Um, now, this might sound weird at first, but I'm going to cross these because, um, the slack so you never see it coming out of the side of the car. So, yeah. Uh, so now that means that this one needs fuel. Um, I believe that is how it should work. So if we grab uh, one of these, if I'd grab the right piece, um, that'd be fantastic right there. Just slap that in, right there, and that, I think, to me, is pretty good. Uh, I'll always put in a little fuel tank, and I think that's incorrectly. Yep, that is indeed incorrectly, and then this one needs to be air. Which is fairly simple. Um, literally go like this and then just grab an air. Oh, er, um, air, ah, uh, air filter right there. Yeah, nice. Okay, um, and that is basically how that will work. Now, I think that should run, so if I grab a seat here. Let's have one be a starter. One starter, and then uh, uh, W and S could control the uh, air. And then if we just get a divide, oh, divide block, grab a uh, constant number. So divide this by two. Logic. Uh, so divide a, which is W and S. Here. 
throttle. I think um that will work if it had electricity which it um I don't think has. Uh so right there I think um Oh, WNS. Cool. Uh. Yeah, there we go. Marking modular engine. Nice. Uh, so now, if we go here, like this, uh, grab just a straight pipe piece down, grab a corner piece. Grab, um, this. Let's grab our propeller. Like that. Logic, um. Actually, I don't think that needs any logic. Either. Oh, wait. I'm gonna make this sticky. To me and us make that sticky. Spawn that in. Let's see. I completely forgot about the clutch as well. Um. Oh. There we go. Engine is now running and propeller is spinning. Quite fast, actually. And wow, that is a lot of exhaust. Okay. So now that is done. And I think that is going to do it for this video. Um, I know it actually has been extremely short, but, um, yeah, so we have a working modular engine, and see everyone in the next video. Goodbye.